Hi, my name is Dan Morsey from the 1X Backbone Engineering team. And this short video will guide you through the process of exporting the necessary certificates from the Avaya Aura System Manager. The following procedure is required for Avaya 1X Agent SIP, Avaya 1X Communicator, and the Avaya Communicator for Windows. Digital certificates use public key cryptography which relies on pairs of keys known as the private key and the public key. This pair of keys can be used to exchange and verify messages securely. As long as the private key remains secret, the system has a known level of security. However, if the private key is compromised, an attacker can potentially use the compromised private key to impersonate the target subject or potentially even decrypt previously recorded traffic. Like passport or other physical forms of identification, certificates are an assertion of identity issued and signed by an entity known as a certificate authority. These certificates are used to establish trust and communications between entities on a network. When a client connects to a server, the client first asks the server to provide a certificate proving the server's identity. If the server is able to produce a certificate that the client trusts, then the client will allow the connection to proceed. Endpoints no longer trust the Avaya SIP product CA by default, and installing certificates issued by your enterprise certificate infrastructure or by a well-known certificate vendor will simplify your user's ability to use the new clients, as there will be no need to deploy certificates to those devices. Avaya's recommendation is that customers upgrade their servers to use certificates generated to the current United States National Institute of Standards and Technology Standards for Information Systems Security. If you have an enterprise certificate infrastructure, you may need to make the CA certificate available to end users so they can install it on their devices. However, if your network is using certificates issued by the Avaya SIP Product Certificate Authority, the Session Manager, an Enterprise Certificate Authority, or a third-party certificate authority that is not well known, you will need to ensure that the certificate authority is trusted by the client devices. To do that, you will need to distribute that CA certificate. Okay, so the first step that we're going to need to do to get these certificates for our on-managed devices is to log into our system manager. And we want to navigate to inventory and manage elements. And from here we want to select our session manager instance. Under the more actions tab, we want to configure trusted devices. Scroll down until you see your SIP product authority. Highlight that and click export. Next, we go back to our home screen and under the services, click on security, certificates, authority, and we want to click on download PEM file. As you can see, we have our default CA cert and our trust cert PEM. I'm just going to move these to the desktop. Okay, the next step, we need to make sure that we can get these installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this to a CRT extension and choose yes. And we're going to do the same with our trust cert CRT. Okay, so the final step is to place these certificates into the trusted root store. 
So you have two options. Uh, right click and choose install certificate and click open. And we want to install this in the local machine. Click next and yes. Then we want to place all certificates in the following store and we want to click on browse. And we want to select our trusted root certificate authorities and click OK. And choose next and finish. So for the second one, I will just double click it and we can run and we want to install certificate to a local machine and choose yes in the same store. We want to browse and we want to manually place this into the trusted root certificate authorities. Click OK. The final step is for 1x communicator only. Now this is something that you only need to do if you are using uh, certain certificates that are not trusted by a third party vendor. Navigate to Program Files Avaya, Avaya 1x Communicator, and we want to right click on install config.xml, and we want to edit this with Notepad. And we want to make sure that we have this line enable hostname validation is set to false. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.